Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be jumping into the Bitcoin, Ethereum and taking a quick look at the stock market for you here. I'm going to try and keep this one short, sweet and professional, giving you all of the information that you need to know here to trade Bitcoin over the coming week. So pay full attention. Let's get into what you're here for and that's the technical analysis. Of course, with all my videos, I'm going to be starting off looking at the past few days of price action really so I can educate you exact reasons why the move happened as I was looking at them live in the time. So I'm going to be talking you through these posts that I gave and then moving, of course, on to what's happening now with this move to the upside and what I'm looking at for the week to come. Hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Let's keep it professional and let's go into the charts. So it all started. Well, I want to start off where I left off my last video here on YouTube, which was on the 15th. OK, as we were as we were around this section of the chart, bouncing around that value area low. And I made it very clear in that video I was remaining in short positions, okay? Short positions into a value area, low retail claim, or the bigger one, obviously $21,000. And I emphasize that within my group here, remaining short and chill on Bitcoin until the value area low claim reclaim or 21K. We ended up going lower after that and made a new low on the chart. And it actually ended with a swing failure pattern. Over the next few days, this range remained very, very, very well respected. I'm going to show you just how well respected it was with that plan remaining intact for me. In the end, we managed to reclaim the value area low. And what happened next was absolutely outstanding. I'm not going to lie. OK, so after reclaiming finally the value area low here, we saw this move to the upside where our target is the point of control. Right. And then the value area high if we can reclaim this. But as we start to move up to the val as we start to move up to the point of control, we actually started to form bearish CVD divergences. So you can see here, we start to form those bearish CVD divergences at around 20K, which is at this section of the chart. And then what happens? We get a pullback to resistance into support with a value area low back test to the exact dollar. OK, so after confirming the value area low back test to the exact dollar, I've then told my team my next target is the point of control. I just want you to understand none of this is hindsight. This was given in the time as it's happening right in the middle of the action. Told my team, point of control is next. This was at around 5 p.m. UK time. Check the timestamp. And as we're coming up to that point of control, we're then going to be looking at the order flow, right? This is what's happening on the order flow. So we actually come up right into the point of control, exactly as predicted, and we saw that lovely move into the point of control. From that point of control, what happened? We started to form this bearish CVD. As you can see, this is the first touch of the point of control here just expand this first touch of the point of control lots and lots of new longs opening not a good sign to start off with okay if we're looking for longs this is a bearish scenario with the first touch and then pull back we then get a retest here as you can see the retest here of the point of control then gets bearish cvd divergences once more remember what happened last time here bearish cvd pull back move up with even more longs opening retest bigger bearish CVD divergences, even more longs opening, and then we get a large pullback to the downside, a very large pullback to the downside this time, ending with a failed auction of our last low made on the 7th of September. Failed auction, as we can see here, temporarily moving below the level, trapping then short positions. And let me show you the divergences that we had on this. Okay, another move to the downside. Here we can see a retest. Here you can see the bullish CVD divergences forming and then you can see the buying balances out of this with the large move to the upside that we're currently seeing okay so that is being explained exactly how I've been looking at it over the past few days reclaim the value area low back test the point of control bearish CVD divergences off the point of control move all the way down to the failed auction here you started to form bullish CVD divergences another subsequent move to the upside so the order flow here extremely helpful giving you all of the information that you need to know live in the time as it's happening each time we've seen the high bearish cvd each time we seal that low bullish cvd look at the order flow make these informed decisions as we are now currently moving up to around this pdpoc up here at 19,810. remember 19810. okay at npoc coming in at 19,675. this bit of a zone that we have that's around 19810. we got this resistance of course OK, so we've saw that large move to the downside, bullish CVD, large move to the upside, bouncing off around this NPOC slash PD POC. Write down some of these values. They are going to be helpful for you. So I want to show you one bit of confluence that we had down at this low. OK, so 
we had bullish CVD, okay, and we saw a failed auction, which is a bullish pattern. But simultaneously, we saw the ES, which is the stock market. We saw the ES coming down for its failed auction of its low of the 16th of September as well. So here, we saw the rise on the ES, bearish open, coming down for the failed auction of its low, reclaimed a weekly, and now it's moving upwards. And we all know that Bitcoin is directly correlated with the ES. When it moves up, Bitcoin moves up. And when it moves down, Bitcoin moves down. So we saw, we're seeing this move up right now on the ES, and likewise, we're seeing this move up on Bitcoin. So it's directly following the ES. And I'd also like to share with you one other bit of analysis I had for you here, and that was um, Ethereum last night. So the 19th of September, well, this is obviously 1, 1 a.m., so early morning. Uh, but you can see how we got this really, really nice retest of the point of control. This is ETH BTC. We touched that point of control perfectly, as you can see here, on the lower term time frame as well. Real nice back test of that point of control. So we've seen Ethereum come into support of the point of control. And this is continuing to move up, as I will just show you here briefly. Okay, so you can just see here off that range pool. Real nice back test of the POC. So you had Ethereum, BTC touching the point of control. You had the ES doing its failed auction. And you had Bitcoin doing its failed auction with those bullish CVD divergences. All leading to this move to the upside. Okay, so what am I looking for next? Well, really simply, what I'm going to be looking for next is this touch of the NPOC to the PDPOC. For me, this is where I'll make an informed decision of, am I going to be shorting this? What would I like to see? You will know I'd really like to see then these bearish CVD divergences coming in here. If we do not see that, and we do see continue, well, if we do see strength come into the market here, and a reclaim, ES continued strength, Ethereum continued strength, then I can be looking up to the value area high, which comes in at around $20,400. Okay, so reclaim 19,800, look for 2,400. We can be aware of this point of control still, 2,123. But for now, I do believe that we are running into resistance. I do understand why we saw the move to the downside and back up. For me, this is not an area where I'm going to be interested in longing because we are into resistance right now. If we flip the resistance into support, I can acknowledge that is then bullish. But until proven otherwise, at the moment, this is a bearish retest. I will remain in my short positions that I have from higher. Okay, I would not longer I would not open along here. If I was to have long down here, which I did not long this, by the way, I'm just aware of why it happened. Um, I missed this trade, but nevertheless, if I had long down here, I would still hold this long right now. There's no reason to close along if you have it open from lower at the moment. Of course, it's a nice take profit right now, but I would not close that long yet. Just as like I'm not closing my short from higher. Because I have no reason to close this short because there's no sign of strength, right? But there's not a sign of weakness as of yet. If we start to lose that market structure, that's when I'll be starting to lock in more profits on the long. So I think if you're able to have got into the position, I did get this short. This short I did get. This long I did not get because I was not actually at my computer as it was happening. So just one of those things. But I can see what's happened here. And I, can know what, I know what's happened here because I traded it. And now what I'm looking for next would be a reclaim of my level. And then I'd be looking simply for my next level to the upside or a rejection and a reversal here. And then to be honest, you obviously have some sub levels on the way back up. There's not really massive support coming in. I mean, the volume is all the way back down at 18, 18,500. We can be aware of this support coming in at around 19,000. So we can be aware of 19,000 as, as sub daily support. But obviously the bigger levels down here at, at 17, 1, 4, and 4, 7. So we obviously have our bigger levels Towards the downside, if we do reject here, sub levels of intraday support 19k, large levels of support to the downside. Then, really simply, we got resistance directly above us. If we reclaim that, we can look back up for the larger move of 20, 2400, but don't remember the sub levels that we have in there once more. Of course, then we have some larger levels up here, um, you know, to, to the upside to be aware of as well. But for me, right now, I would personally remain patient. I don't think there's any need to, to run and jump into a position right now on Bitcoin. I would like to personally see another little bit of a move to the upside so I can get into a potentially another another short position based off of the reaction. All I would do right now is monitor the order, monitor the order flow, monitor the order flow, check ETH, check the stock market, and then continue to trade this as we're moving along. Hold no biases, have no, this has to happen, be open, be water, and be open to whatever happens next. Okay, I'm not bullish, I'm not bearish, I'm just trading the market, trading the charts as they are shown to me. 
Okay, if that sounds interesting to you, of course, and you want to learn more with us, then we have all of the information over on our website, chartchampions.com. And tomorrow, we obviously have a live trading analysis stream from Igor. So, um, you know, I've been hyping him up recently because he absolutely deserves it. And, and we actually look at the, the views. He's not getting enough enough or love, in my opinion, because this guy is doing live trading now. You wanted to see the live trading analysis and live trading analysis is what we have given you. So make sure you tune into Eagle's live stream tomorrow around 2 p.m. UK time. But again, if you miss that, you can watch it back on demand whenever you want, much like Netflix. And this is going to be live over of over at chartchampions.com, okay, where you can have access to all the educational material and all the daily live streams. Next one, Igor, tomorrow, 2 p.m., will be the live trading stream where he'll go over the charts in real time and analyze that for you. You can get into the thought process of truly, truly one of the best traders in the world right now, and then not only get into his mind, but also see it live as it's happening. Uh, last video last week, he, he netted $520 profit off of just a, a small challenge account that he's running. So yeah, do not miss that. That's over at chartchampions.com. All the education, all the live analysis, all the live streams that you could ever want. Chartchampions.com. For myself and everybody else here, we wish you a brilliant week ahead. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've marked out the levels that I'm ready and waiting for. And we'll be prepared together for the week to come. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you over in the Discord shit. I'll attach you over in the Discord. Thank you, everybody. I truly do love you. Once again, goodbye and have a brilliant day. No financial advice. This is just an education, entertainment video only. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.